Hi, I am Mummy's doll. Do you remember? We used to play together when we were younger, right? Now I need to have glasses because I don't see well. But I decided to come back and to explain to you what's happening, right? Today, there is a lot, a lot of people with that disease that's called Alzheimer and dementia. And I would like to explain to you. And every week I will come back and we can talk about our life together. Let's go see that story. Here is my big book for the most wonderful mother. I should say father also, next time. Okay, so, um, my name is Mommy Doll. What's your name? Do you remember me? Yes? I'm so happy to see you again. So, hi, hi the whole family also. Let me explain to you that, that disease. It's called Alzheimer or and dementia. A difficult situation, right? It's in my book of story here. When a parent of a or a loved one has dementia or even Alzheimer, it is difficult to handle. Most people don't know how to deal with it. Unfortunately, the best way to cope with dementia or Alzheimer are not obvious. You're trying to be helpful and rational, but your loved one scream at you. I'm sorry. I remember you used to scream at me too when I was a little doll. The problem comes down to communication. Yes, that's it. We have to communicate. Okay, so I can communicate in French, in English, in Spanish, in Portuguese, a little bit of um, Italian, and maybe sing in Creole. But that's not what we're talking about here. The problem comes down to communication. Your loved one might seem to yell and scream for no reason or accusing you of doing something wrong. They don't want to do this. It's a feeling, right? Your parents, grandparents, or spouse might, might make a decision or jump to conclusion. Dementia and or Alzheimer patient can become confused about what's happening or where they are. How would you feel if you're waking up at home in your bed and then look around and not recognizing nothing? Oh. I would be so scared. I think I would scream. I would cry. I would be afraid. And I would need you to help me to understand, right? With all these problems, how can we communicate it? Dealing with dementia or and Alzheimer? is not easy, not for me, neither for you. And so be patient, please be patient with me, with your loved ones and with yourself, because you are important. If you are not here, who will take care of me? I need you, my family, my parents, my sister, my brother, my friends, and also a caregiver, and maybe a home care, and maybe my baby doll. 
A person with dementia or an Alzheimer can always control what they do. Can't, can't. You think I'm, I control everything. No, no, I can't. No more. Maybe sometime, you know, if you give me sweet. But usually, I can't control. And they do and often can't tell what's wrong. What's wrong? Why are you screaming at me? Why am I living here? What's wrong? What did I do wrong? Nothing. Nothing. I wake up one day. And I was not with my master no more as a doll. It's scary, but I didn't do nothing wrong. If your loved one is upset, try to find a reason. Yes, give me a reason why you're upset. What did I do? I didn't do nothing wrong, so give me a reason. What's happening? Oh, I walk on your floor after you wash it. I'm sorry. Just tell me. It is because he or she can't remember something. It doesn't matter if I don't remember where I put my watch. If I didn't do my bed. Did I eat? I don't know. I don't remember. Did I eat today? Who feed me? Um, I think I went out today and it was a good day, but you didn't feed me. You did not feed me. Please, just give me a cracker, a cookie, a little snack, and I'll be pleased. I love you so much. I just don't remember how to tell you. It is frustrating to need a nurse, a helper, it is scary to be in a care home. It's very scary. Before, I didn't need nobody, you know. I would just sit down on the bed and wait till someone find me. And then we play because I'm a baby doll. But you, do you need someone to help you? Is that possible that I can help you? Or maybe your daughter, or maybe your caregiver, someone. I'm sure they all want to do this. Give them a chance, be kind. I know you are so nice. Don't try to argue logically or explain the situation. Don't try to discuss the issue in a reasonable, reasonable, be, be, re, in a reasonable way. Sorry. Find a way to make your loved one feel better. Yes, maybe you can give me a snack, a sweet, listen to music, look at the picture with me. Let's just play game. Let's play card. Do photos of home help. Yes, I like to watch photo. I like to look at photo from remembering the past. It was so nice when we both were younger, right? Does music help? Yes. Let's go dance and sing. That's so nice. I like this. And make my soul happy. Also, there is nothing wrong with lying or distraction. You know, if it's time for me for a little nap, and I'm telling you I did a nap, can you just tell me, let's do it together again? Just bring me to my room. Walk with me. Don't argue with me. It's not working. And it makes me sad. I don't know what's happening. Help me there. When reason doesn't work anymore, a comforting lies doesn't harm anyone. I did not have a snack. I know, I remember, 
You are confused. I know, mother. Oh, father, you're right. I think I forgot to give you a snack. Let me give you a little cracker. Yes, thank you very much. You're such a good daughter. Every person is different. You know, your loved one, the best. You know them. Find the things that help help make him or her happy and calm. Very important. Look at those fish. They're so nice. That's relaxing me. I feel so calm. I was so nervous and anxious just two minutes before. I don't even know why. I can't explain to you. It just happened like this. But you're showing me the fish. Is it beautiful? You will make mistake. Sure. Everyone makes mistake. It's just being human. That's okay. Don't rely on reason and find out what works best for you. Being sick, having Alzheimer or in dementia is not easy. You know, Sometimes it feels like the world stopped around me. It's dark. It's sad. I'm lonely. Nobody understand me. And I don't know who to talk to no more. Would you be my friend? I know you're doing so much for me. I know you have your own life. I know you're tired and with, with everything, every chore you have to do for your own life. And I'm here and bother you again. But we love each other. And because of this, I'm going to try to do better. But I don't know what's going to happen because that disease doesn't tell me ahead. So I'm trying to be my best every day. Can you see it? So it's me. I'm mommy doll. And I will be back to see you tomorrow. Would you be there? Bye. Have a good day. And don't worry so much about me. I'm happy when I'm close to you. If it's not physically, it's by looking at the picture of you. So I want to record one more thing before I say goodbye. And it's our song. Yes. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away.